glad I'm alive. How about you? I'm glad you're alive. Are you sure? Yes. Five seconds ago, you weren't saying that. Oh, I was. <laughs> I was not. I was yelling at Bindi. Uh, oh, my gosh. Anybody in here? We're you doing it different. Turn, hold on. Disclaimer. You might need to turn your volume down because we have microphones on. It's a little windy. I don't want to blow your eardrums out. Okay. Carry on. Carry on. My wayward son. Yes. Anybody in here? Knock, knock. Who's there? Anyone? Anyone? Maybe. Can they hear us? Give us the thumbs up if you can hear us. Maybe we're not really live. I don't see anything going in. Zero comments. Hmm. <laughs> Jet well, is rolling around over here with Ginger. That, oh, there's some. That was a fun live. <laughs> Every time we do this, I say I'm see. not going to do it anymore. <laughs> okay. Gary says, we really missed you guys last week. Glad you're back. Tiny Bubbles, hello from Southwest Florida. There, we're getting some. There okay, we we're catching up. Debbie, hello. Paula Harvey, hi. Wanda, hi. Linda. Juanita. Oh, Juanita. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, trying Juanita. trying to read fast. Hey, Bonnie, how are you up in Maine? Holly, Debbie. We changed things up. We thought y'all might be getting tired of us in our living room. Yes. We still went to, uh, what, about two minutes before we started? Mm -hmm. Before we got situa situated? Situated. Gave Mimu some food. So he's got his head. I don't think you can. Oh, yeah, you can yeah, see Yeah, he's him. over my I don't shoulder. know what that filter looking thing is on our he's screen. Smart. <laughs> you want to come sit? You wipe Will that thing go away? I don't know. Nope. Made it bigger. Okay. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Say hi. Uh, hi. Really can't believe people tune in to watch us. I know. Live. Close my mind. So, how are you guys? Port Richie. That's a train, but where are the train tracks? Somebody's got to have a train whistle. No, that's a train. Where's the train track from here? In town. Eight miles. What in the world? I have heard that before. Did y'all hear that? Are we losing our mind? There are no train tracks out here. The closest train is eight miles from our house. But that was that direction, wasn't it? I mean, my ears aren't yeah, great. Yeah, Your ears are definitely terrible. I've been running the saw for the last two and a half hours, two hours. I'm exaggerating, two hours. And my nose is full of sawdust. So if you see me squeezing my nose nonstop, sorry, it'll Wait. probably get annoying. I probably need to go blow it. Should I go do that? It's a little late now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you, what are you doing? I thought you were peeing in the okay, water. Okay, so Budge heard the train. Uh, Paula says right behind us. It's I don't like know. It. There really are not. Maybe it's creatures. a ghost train. <laughs> I don't know. Our property is weird. We're going to turn this real quick for you guys. Hang on. Hang on. There she is. She's right here. She, she came up to the house this afternoon. She missed us. There it is again. Yep. Oh my gosh. Maybe they sell like the horn you can put on a truck that sounds like a train. Mm -hmm. You think it's that? Or you know. think it's a train? Oh, I don't it might know. Be. Do camels lay eggs? <laughs> yes. Oh, we're supposed to be doing a Q&A. I forgot Daddy, all about Dad, that. Dad just said camels did poop eggs? You think camels poop eggs? No, no, nada. No, Dad, I, I poop eggs. No, a camel. Camels do. Butch, or who asked that? Somebody asked it. Mind blown says it was the rapture. You missed it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. We've um, thought that a few uh, times over the years. <laughs> dang it! I thought <laughs> I was in. One, two, Look at hang her. On the Turn the camera. Can you just swivel the little top? Oh, maybe. That would be the smart thing to do. Look at her. How does that work? Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> you don't need to be in the video. That's fine. I'll no. go blow my nose. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Our little teethers are so cute. Okay. 
half tea first. Yes, she's a good girl. She just doesn't really know where she fits. She missed her sheep, so she came up for the afternoon. You got her food? Okay, let's see. Somebody said they have, um, their son has trained horns on his semi. That's what I think it is. It has to be, because that sounded like it was just right there. I don't think it was eight miles away. Yeah. No, dude. Put that food down. That's Ginger's food. She'll come get it when she wants more. Oh, Punky's in. Hey, Punk. Missing you here tonight. Yeah. Look, the camels gave up. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, we're still here. Let me go get them back. Juanita says, be careful you don't end up with a sinus infection. That happened to her son from sawdust. Oh, I get them about three times a year. Yeah, that definitely happens to you. Oh, she's eating. Oh, no, Ginger. She has my oh, microphone. Oh, that ain't going to work. What? Wrong. Well, I can't get him in view. Okay, Ginger just ate my microphone cover thingy. Okay. Slobbery. Sorry if it's all crackly, guys. Can you see Poppy in it? Yeah. Poor Ginger. Nelly. She shut out. Oh, gosh. Oh, there we go. Here we go. I don't think this is going to work. Okay. Can you hear me? Testing. 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 Carly, <laughs> can you hear me? Ginger had the poofer thingy in her mouth and now I can't get it back on. It's covered in slobber. Oh. Paula oh, says, says yes. yes. Okay. There you go. You take the questions. I can't questions. <laughs> if you guys already put a question on here, please repeat it. She sees four animals and three genos. Mm -hmm. Ginger's the Juno and <laughs> Jet's the animal. Yeah. Okay, Rock's in. I think Butch maybe said that you were supposed to do a how-to video. I don't remember the how-to video. I think it was how to install a bidet. Oh, yeah. Has anybody else gotten a bidet? Hey, that no, here was the deal. So if it was... Oh, yeah. I yell a lot. I'm deaf. Sorry, guys. The how-to video was conditional. If people went and bought the bidets, then I would do a how-to video. But I don't think anyone went and bought a bidet. Judy did. Judy did? Judy, Is Judy in here? Judy bought one. And Judy installed it herself. So my question is, did Butch Brown buy one? Because he's the one wanting the how-to video. So if Judy's Maybe it's a how-to use it. Oh. <laughs> That would be interesting. Well, Ginger needs a bidet tonight. I know. She's got a poopy butt. Dried poop. Paula has one in the box for four years. Paula, you are missing out. Well, buy a new one that's easy to install. It's literally, you. it comes with the wrench for the, the plumbing nuts. And it goes on your toilet seat. It's easy as it can be. If I am in town, I will drive eight miles to poop at home so I can use a bidet instead yep. of going to the bathroom there, wherever I am. Me too. <laughs> well, I'll poop there. I just won't wipe. I'll just drive home. And oh, my gosh. No wonder you have that pack of underwear in your truck. <laughs> Whoa. Jet Let Gino. go of the tripod, sir. Oh, my gosh. We've struggled with Jet today. Well, he's only, whoop, he's only been here since 3 o'clock. <laughs> I don't know how you... Oh, were. yeah. You had him. That was the struggle. You had him for an hour and a half. Yeah. They went fishing for a little bit of decompression. Did from you work. catch any fish? Okay, stop. Too much. Oh, my gosh. Okay, um, what do we got going on? Anything? Do anything? not get a bidet. It harbors urine and bacteria. Well, the one that we have has a, the nozzle cleans itself as you're shutting it off you can't just shut it off it cleans 
it goes into a cleaning mode and i spray it with clorox every now and then. and it comes down out of a little chamber thing, thing yeah. it's not we don't have a bidet like the old school bidet. no we have the amazon 35 dollar. i think yeah. it's a little i think it's like 40 now you know the cost of everything has went up i would trust the bidet I got sidetracked in my mind. <laughs> I would trust there to be less bacteria coming out of the bidet the way ours is built than bacteria on the toilet paper. Mimu. Mimu? Mimu's. Mimu eats a lot. I don't I was not prepared for the amount of food that Mimu goes through. He Hmm. How much food does he eat? How much? How many pounds does that container hold? Oh, well, I don't know, but we mix basically. Jet, please. Bubba, stop. Please stop. Stop, please. We mix a half, basically a half bag of four different foods mm -hmm. together. Each one's a 50 pound bag. Scratch, dog kibble, so, creep. It's probably close to 100 Sweet pounds feet. every time we mix it. Yeah. And we mix it, what, every two to three weeks? Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. he, he eats a lot. He's very, I think he's very healthy. He poops a lot. The piles of poop that that guy gives out are like that. I just stepped in one and it's covered with hay and I kind of slid a little bit and didn't know it was there. Yeah. Um, is he going to get a girlfriend? We'll, we'll go back to some questions we've missed, but stay yeah. tuned. Okay. Stay tuned. Well, I think we, got we talked about it. We, we, yeah. yeah, we've had something in the works. Yeah, we just need to, we don't really have it set up to where we can keep them separate. And they will literally try to kill each other. They have to be, well, they may love each other for the first, the guy said, like two days. And then she'll try to kill him. So then you would need to separate them. And we're really not set up for that yet. Well, we're getting close. Getting real close in here. It's, we have a lot of animals Really? More than we're used to for the amount really? of pens that we have. Hold on. And we're trying to grow grass in an area we've not been able to grow grass in. So we have cut ourselves off from even a pen that we had access we've to. We've basically taken five acres away. And added, what, six animals? How many sheep do we even have right now? I don't know. Five. We have Hershey and four ewes. Okay. So and a bunch of pigs. And six pigs, yeah. Six pigs now, which they're living their best life down by the pond. Yep. Okay. Um, okay, question. <clears throat> Any camel questions? What do the camels eat? The camels eat camel food. Next question. Oh, my goodness. The camels eat mostly grass. This time of year, they're starting to eat grass. If you notice the trees behind us, the lower limbs are bare. That's because as soon as they bud out, the camels are eating the buds off of the tree limbs. So depends what time of year it is. They eat different things. Uh, in the winter, we feed them Bermuda hay in alfalfa. Mm -hmm. and that's Jet, open that gate back up. Pretty Thank much you. it. Uh, we give them cattle cubes as treats. Mm -hmm. They like carrots as long as they're not too cold. Yeah. And as long as you don't have something else. Carrots, they'll eat them. Cattle but. cubes are their favorite mm -hmm. treat. That's what's in this yellow container that I gave Poppy a little bit ago. They're here. And I don't know why they are called cubes because... What shape is this? Let's see. Let's see if we got any third grade geometry majors. What shape is it? Definitely not a cube. And no variety we've ever bought is a cube. But the bag says cube. So. And everyone calls them cubes. It's very confusing. It really is. Okay. Next um, question. Let me see cylinder mm -hmm. tiny bubbles is the winner what does flint do for a living that he's home every day i want a job like that <laughs> i'm not home every day uh, <laughs> who asked that uh maggie maggie i am not home every day uh the thing is is i work from about 7 a.m until 10 p.m at least Doing three different jobs. 
one being the ranch and YouTube. Uh, my full-time job is in healthcare, and then we own a rental property company. So amongst those three jobs, it's basically 16-hour days every day. Yeah. you. He's awake after long after I fall asleep yeah. every night. I can't yeah, stay usually we go, I Usually I can wind up and get in bed by 10 o'clock, but then I'll do a video work on videos from like 10 to one in the morning mm -hmm. and then get up the next day and start it all over again. Your job though, your day job the, is consuming, but you can work from your phone and your computer. Yes. So you I do work travel from as home. much as you used to. Right. My office is in Oklahoma city, which I go there a couple times a week. And, uh, I do travel a little bit. So. Okay. Um, Dawn said, Carly watched your video today with Jet, but said your comments were shut off. But welcome home was a cute video with your brother. It was a very cute video. Carly's video. Her comments. I meant to oh, ask yeah, her yeah, about yeah, that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She had I her saw comments shut off, but it was not on purpose. Yep. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Judy's here. Still loving her bidet. All her right. five-year-old granddaughter is obsessed with it. I need to teach Jet how to use it because he'll... No, then he'll never be able to wipe his butt at school. Well, then I won't have to wipe his butt here, though. Uh, he is <laughs> almost five. He can start wiping his own butt. That's oh your choice. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, do they ever go on a date behind the barn? The hmm. camels? <laughs> Probably Where'd not. Pop is uh, <laughs> gelded. He's fixed. His nuggets are gone. Yes. And we didn't do that. We got him that way. Yes. But. So they're if, more like big brother and little sister. Kind of. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much because he pesters her. And she pesters But he'll him. stick up for her too. Yeah. And so. she's an antagonist to him. She, she pick she starts crap. He'll come towards her and not even touch her. And she's already going ah, like he's trying to kill her. Crocker life is here. It says, almost forgot about Tuesdays with the Junos. How would you forget? Jet Collier, you better leave that sheep alone. Hershey, do you hear Hershey? Hershey doesn't like you messing with her. Put that food down. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that deep. That is Hershey telling Jet to back away from his you. <laughs> And Jet has the gate shut so that Hershey can't come out. Oh, my gosh. What have we gotten ourselves into? Let's, this may get entertaining. If they push the gate open, he may charge Jet. Look at him. Oh, Jet, you better get over here. <laughs> you better get over here. I've never seen him do that. Okay. Whew. Have okay. a kid taken out live. <laughs> back, back to regular programming. Okay. Hershey is not wanting you to, to mess with Joy. You leave Joy alone, okay? You pet Ginger. She's right here. Literally right here. Okay. Uh, Michelle's in here. Let's see. Kathy, how much weight is too much to ride a camel? Mm, that's an excellent question. You have to ask Poppy because he knows the difference. Let me put it this way. Poppy grumbles when I ride him. When my brother Jade got on him, it was like his world had ended. <laughs> so he he was like, Argh. I think it probably depends on the camel, Bendy. And how strong they are. Um, how used to the how used to people riding on him. But I think over, like, in the Middle East, anybody rides camels, no matter what they weigh, right? Like, well, on those touring of this? Yeah. Yeah. And two people at once. Yeah. Poppy would, Poppy would be <laughs> slaughtered his first day on the job. Yeah. The way he probably. carries on. Hi, BB. Oh, you don't need cubes. I thought you were coming to me. So we got Joy. I thought Joy was this. running gleefully to me. She was running for the cubes. Okay, what's the next question? Uh, do we only have one child? 
Do we only have one child? We have, excellent question, we have two different only children. We have an only child that's a girl and an only child that's a boy. And we say that because they're 15 years apart. It took us 15 years. And they're both my kids. She didn't have <laughs> the older one with another one. Mm -hmm. They're both mine. Are they both yours? I hope. They okay. were both in my stomach, but I don't know. Jet uh, is more like me than, than Car Jet Collier. Get over here. Yes, so our oldest child, Carly, is in college right now uh, in Florida. She started her own YouTube channel called Carly's Challenge. She has a new video out today, and I have not watched it. I'm a horrible father. <gasps> Mother. <But> I, <laughs> joy. Mother of the year here. I watched it. I am not the father of the year. I will say that. Ask either of my children. I'm not the father of the year. <laughs> <laughs> it has any been a year, very busy year. Any year. But. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted. Bindi is over here trying to herd the sheep. She doesn't really have access to them very often. And she's trying to herd them. She's pawing at her. She's butt right now. And I'm waiting for him to take care You're of her. You're telling people everything going on, but they can't see. I know. I'm well, That's and why I kid, said we shouldn't be sitting down. Our kid just dropped his drawers. So we can't really oh, have well, that on true. camera. Yeah. That's probably okay. Where did he go? Carly grew up in the city. Uh, we lived in Florida for most of her what ha seven until she was seven. Yes, and she's a city girl. Jet is all country. He is feral, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. He's living his best life here on with all of his animals. Um, any more baby cows coming? Yes, we had a break in baby cows. Belle is still pregnant. And if you remember back in January, we separated her with the other uh, close to birth mamas. Yes. Because of two reasons. She looked like, or three reasons, actually. She was big at the time. And our vet check had her getting pretty close. And it was about the right time based off of when she had her calf last year. But Belle, here we are three months later, is still big and pregnant. Yes. Um, I don't think anything's wrong with her. I think we're just wrong on the date. Hi. The, uh, and then we have Fiona mm -hmm. and Anna. Anna. So we have three more babies. Yet to calve this year. This is the first time since we've had cows for how long have we had cows? Cora, I just saw, is turned four this week. Okay. So we've had cows for what, five years? Anyways, the first time that we've had cows. Well, we, this many we babies had at Mac one time. before we had Jet. So, yes. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be nice to try to get everybody on a cycle. We have the bulls in their own pasture. Fergus, Mac, and Lambo are in one uh, pasture. So we can try to hold off breeding them back. Um, let's see. If you could be any of your animals, which one would you be? Not Bendy, but she gets in trouble all the time. I would be blue. <laughs> for real <laughs> he has got it good oh mm. my gosh blue is our blue healer that what he lived next door mm -hmm. when we no one knows property. how old he really is yeah i think he came to that man just as a stray Bo and then that man died yeah and when we were building our house we had just poured concrete in the back the patio remember uh -huh. and he kept coming over and peeing on all of our posts on our patio and so flint shot him with the paintball gun paintball yeah paintball gun to yeah. to make him go away we were like get out of here and then what a year later or was it two years later i don't know during covid i literally bought a paintball gun because of blue <laughs> <laughs> that one before blue was peeing on everything 
Oh my gosh. So he just showed up and I messaged the neighbors. I was like, hey, what's your blue healer's name? The new owner. The neighbors. new owners. Yeah. The man had died and his nephew and wife had moved in. So I was like, what's your blue healer's name? And he's blue, don't feed him. He'll come back. And, and so he was back and forth for a while and then ended up, they were like, if y'all want him, you can have him. So we went over and got him and he's been with us ever since. Got him fixed. So he sticks around here. And then all of a sudden, the last, what, eight to 10 months, he's just aged right before our eyes. He just wants to sleep. He's ready to go in the house. Like by five o'clock, he wants to go in the laundry room and lay on his bed like an old mm -hmm. man and go to sleep. Yeah, he's showing his age. Like today when I went, was it today or yesterday? Either yesterday or today when I went up front, he ran. But as soon as I stopped up front, he jumped into the ranger oh. because he wanted to ride back. Yeah. So he'll get a big spurt of energy and he'll try to chase a mama cow. Um, I mean, he's been laid out by the mama cows mm -hmm. several times. He's pretty ferocious about chasing cows, but it doesn't ever really help us. Like when we're trying to gather cattle and work them, like he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. Bendy doesn't either. And she almost gets us killed. Kind of like anything. us in farming. We are ranching. We have no idea what we're doing, Yeah, but we'll give it a go and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, Mary. Okay. Okay. What, what animal are you? Hmm, donkeys. I'd be, Donkey. a, I'd be one of my donkeys. Paisley? Yeah. <laughs> Do I look like Paisley? Is that what you're trying to say? No. Curvy? She's curvy. Um, Carly said she can't keep up with all the Juno Acres uploads. I know. I've been telling him to take a day off. I did. I took the whole weekend off. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Okay. He took a couple days off, Carly. No excuses. Get caught up. Yeah. Um, let's see. Have the pigs swam across the pond to escape yet? No. Not that we know. But I know that they've been in the water at least a little bit because the girl's hair is curly and it's even curlier when it's wet. And I caught them with kind of curlier hair earlier. Um, they, and they've worn a path along the edge. So I know, and I didn't put a, I did put a water bowl down there the first day. And gave them water just in case they were scared of the water. But now they're going down there and hanging on the water's edge. And so I think they're loving it. They, I'll drive in and out and they're foraging through there. And then I'll come back and they'll all be laid in a pile, snuggling, yeah. sleeping in the sun. When I was down there, Jet was riding Penelope. Really? Literally riding her. <laughs> and then she like bucked him and he fell off the back. Oh, awesome. That is awesome. Um, when do you think you'll have baby pigs? Okay, I'm not wanting to breed the girls until they're like a year old. And they'll be a year in August. But Get that want. Wanting to. Wanting yes. to. Because what I've read in some groups that I'm in, because there's constantly questions in these Cooney Cooney groups. What age should I breed my pigs? And a lot of people say it's not only the age, it's the weight. So my girls weigh a hundred, little over 100 pounds. Um, so probably right now... They're getting closer to the weight part, but they're still not a year old yet. And Toby and Keith were born in November, but I've seen Toby trying to mount the girls. But he's, Toby's starting to get a set on him. He too. has a set on him for sure. <laughs> Bigger so, than the ones that were cut out of the other two. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I thought they were already fixed. Actually, when we got the One two of them, butcher pigs, yeah, we couldn't find them. I was scratching their belly and I was trying to feel for their nuts. And I, I messaged the girl and I was like, "Are you sure they weren't castrated?" <laughs> She's like, "No." Um. Anyways, whoo. Carly said, "I laughed so hard over jet riding the piggy girl that I snorted." Yes, it, I bet that was funny. Marilyn said, isn't Blue deaf and old? I do believe Blue has lost mm -hmm. his hearing for the most. I can get up behind him three to four feet away and be saying his name and he cannot hear me. He has to see some movement and then he'll turn around yeah. and look at me. I think he's been kicked in the eardrum <laughs> several times. Well, I think that's well, a, seen him a healer several trait times. too, though. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. And he does have one ear that's down, um, which he had a hematoma in his earlobe. And they told me when I took him to the vet and had it drained that his ear would never stand up again like a normal healer's. That's why he has one down. I enjoy it's kind of cute, though. It is cute. He's a good dog. Mm -hmm. um, see, Bindi's supposed to be learning from him. 
and Mary's out in the new grass. He's in retirement mode right now, so Bendy's not learning from him. No. Um, piggy girl races should be a thing. Yes. I, the other day I went down there to feed them and they didn't hear me coming down there. I rode the scooter down and I was able to yell for them. I was like, Hey, and, and they were running, off. running, running. And, um, Oh, Kathy, Kathy has to go back to work. Uh, Thanks okay. for checking in, Kathy. Have a good night. Anyways, the pigs were running to me and Penny was in the lead and she is the biggest pig i was surprised she was beating the little guys I, I need to try to get it on camera it's funny joy cold beer says speaking of weight as flint's butt fell through his chair no <laughs> this chair's pretty good this, we're all right here <laughs> this is a high quality item cold beer <laughs> oh that was so I, funny I, we don't take our good stuff to the crockers <laughs> oh, we sat at a, around a campfire with the Crockers and Paragon and uh, CNC, and we weren't there ten cold minutes. Beer. And cold beer, yeah. And we weren't there ten minutes, and Flint busted his chair through. He was sitting yeah, on the ground like one minute. As soon as <laughs> I put my chair up, I sat down and I <laughs> went right through it. Oh gosh. Let's see. Um, what? Let's talk about Millie. What's our plan with Millie? So Millie actually should not be here right now. We should probably already have her at a friend or a guy we know. I guess we shouldn't call him a friend. We don't know him that well. We but. bought a camel from him and mm -hmm. he's a Facebook acquaintance. Yeah. Fellow camel breeder. He's a camel ear. Yeah, we're not breeders though. Yeah. So uh, the plan was the spring was to take Millie over there. And put her with one of his males. Do they only come in season once a year, camels? No, but it's best to do it right after you get through a worm regime. Okay. Does I being think. with a stud trigger them to come into heat? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So camels are different. The way I was told is from uh, our <laughs> camel trainer, I think, or maybe somebody on YouTube. I don't know. But like deer, the females, the does go in to rut, or like sheep, the does go in to rut, or the ewes, whatever they're called. Okay. And, and or the, the bucks go in to rut when the females come in to season. Wait, you're talking about deer? Yes. Does? I, I'm, I'm trying to. Did you say ewes? I'm confused. I don't know. My brain's fried. Mine too. Um, Anyway, the purpose of this <laughs> illogical conversation is that camels are different than other mammals. So when the male comes <laughs> into season, it will cause the female to come into season. Oh, camels Where, go into rut. Gotcha. Yes. Like deer do. No, the opposite of what deer do. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. Next question. <laughs> Did we lose down. everybody yeah, yet? Yeah, Is anybody down. still here? We're down a <laughs> Can camels swim underwater? We don't understand the reproductive system of camels, but we want to have a camel baby. So yep. there you go. Stay tuned. Can they swim underwater? I don't know. They can swim, right? Mm-hmm. I wonder if sheep can swim. I doubt it. Not our, not our sheep. Our sheep are too fat. Um... I don't know if camels can swim. I've seen Poppy lay in the pond and tip over and get all wet. And I don't know if that was legs. on purpose, though, was it? Maybe He not. came back one day. He'd been over on our north pasture, remember? He came uh -huh. back and his whole side was muddy. Uh -huh. We're not sure how Pure that mud. happened. One side was. What does she have, Jet? Bendy's running with something in her mouth. Who knows? Sorry, guys. This is a crazy <laughs> evening. Yes. Every evening is, though. It is. And all we do is referee animals. Um, we, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you all this. We didn't video this. Uh-oh. What are you telling? <sighs> Flint went out of town last week. And it's a guarantee when he goes out of town that something, hey, grandma's in here. You want to say hi to grandma? <laughs> 
Marilyn says that conversation shows why you are not breeders. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Marilyn. <laughs> Ashley says, how long are uh, camels pregnant? 11 months. Okay. Thomas says, maybe I want you to start all over and explain it again, please. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, Flint went out of town last week. And I, I hold my breath. Like, okay, I so can handle this. So, you see, this. most males and females <laughs> of mammals. I'm going to turn y'all around so you I'm can joking. see this. <laughs> Look, Ginger's trying to suck on Joy's ear. They really are sweet together. Hey, that Jack, was the joke. I'm not going to read. Jack, it. come say hi. Say hi to Sissy and Grandma and Papa. You say hi. And Rock. Okay. Y'all, it's not you guys. This morning he would not speak. He went mute on me all morning when I was trying to get him ready for school. It's just a thing. It's a phase. We're all right. Mm. Everything's all right. So here's what happened. Story I went time. out of town. I want to tell a story for once. Oh, okay. You okay. So story he, time with Sam. Flint went out of town. I was like, okay, I'm a big girl. I can handle this. I do the chores a lot. I feed the pigs. I feed the sheep. I feed the camels alfalfa. I can handle the animals, right? We've only got a few left to have babies. He's only going to be gone one night. So, and I was going to try to edit a video, right? Three hours of video footage. I sat down and went through for four hours, and I only was able to cut out 20 minutes for a video. And Jet walked by the laundry room and he said, there's a chicken in the laundry room. And I'm like, a chicken in the laundry room, really? So I hop up and what do I find? That Bendy has brought a chicken in through the doggy door. And that precious hen was on her back, wings out like this, done for, twitching. And I thought that I was going to have to put her down. And I don't dispatch animals. He's the person that does that. When a neck needs ringed, when someone's hurt fatally and they got to be put down, you're the man, right? We've had to do that a time or two. He was not here. So I go get my rubber gloves. I tell Jet to get in the living room. I pick the chicken up and she like wakes up and is alive. And there's feathers everywhere and for like 20 minutes before that i'd heard a bunch of thumping in the laundry room but bendy and blue blue does show a little bit of energy sometimes in the evening and they'll wrestle in there a Wait, little bit bendy? So i thought they were wrestling no bendy has decided she wants to kill chickens no she plays with them. she didn't kill them but so the back of her the feathers had been ripped out get down bendy so i put her in the coop with the babies in the garage in a little dog kennel. I, they couldn't have access to her, but I put, put her by the heat lamp, gave her some electrolytes in the water and gave her some food. And I figured by morning she would be gone. Um, Cause she, she couldn't walk. Like she tried to walk. She looked like an old lady here. Anyways, by the next morning, we prayed for her, Jet and I, it was pretty traumatic. We prayed for her by the next morning. She was like a different chicken. So Flint and I caught the, we only have two hens that are full size. We put them back in the chicken coop. But we discovered that Bindi, that was not the first time she'd gotten a hold of chickens. The other chicken had a bunch of feathers missing from her back too. So, <clears throat> y'all, we're in a pickle with Bindi. I think she just, she tries to herd them around and she'll put her paw on them. Like, I just watched her do that with Hershey. But, oh my gosh, it never fails when Flint goes out of town that the animals lose their minds. Right? Correct. It's always something when you're gone. Joy is drinking oh, your energy. Oh, Joy, drink. Joy, no, no, no. <gasps> so, we didn't video that. It was kind of traumatic. Yeah, that wouldn't have been. And if a good you're video. a friend of mine on Facebook and you saw my post trying to get Bindi away, just disregard. I changed, <laughs> I changed my mind, and I can't find the post to take it down. I have had a, a message wanting someone wanting Bindi, but uh, I was upset. <laughs> I was trying to rehome her while Flint was out of town. <laughs> oh, oh, look back here. Bendy, sit down. It says Bendy and Blue behind you. Can't tell if they're playing or fighting. Is Blue back there? No, Bendy and... Oh, and, e and, Mimu. and Mimu. So that's the thing. She tries to pester Mimu. She pesters everyone. She is bored. And she's a puppy, really, still. And she's not mm -hmm. even... What, a year and a half? 
So we just yeah. don't have enough animals for her. I think if we had a whole herd of cattle, she would be wonderful. Look. Yeah, she's trying to bite at Mimu. I and I think Mimu could defend himself. Oh yeah. He has some gnarly claws. And I know he can kick. Um let's see. Do you guys have any fish in your pond? Uh depending on which pond, it's a lot of answers. The new pond that we did last, no. The pond before that, we've caught fish out of our main pond and put in there, but not many. So we'll try to do more this year. Our north pond Don't dump that over. is an old pond that was there when we bought the place. And it is Bendy, full of little bass. And we've been trying to um, clean them out so the bass can grow bigger in there. Our main pond... Which is the one we put in uh, before we built our house here. Had very nice fish in it. And we had some crazy floods the last couple of years. And I think we lost a lot of them. But there are still some decent sized fish in it. I think the biggest bass so far this year has been like a three pounder. But we've caught some good sized ones out of it. I have no idea where Sam's going. But I'll try to... We'll take up the the reins. I'm letting these two feral animals out. Oh, our child. Yeah, and Bendy. Uh, so the pond by the pigs is our main pond, which is where uh, the best fish we have is. But The oldest pond is the one with a whole bunch of little bitty fish, that which you, you usually don't see in our videos unless we're driving the ranger up by the pot farm. You tried to drain it, right? Yes, I tried to drain it last year and was very, very close. And then we went out of town as a family, I think to go see Carly in Florida. And while we were gone, we had tons of rain. So. Um, yeah, so we, Todd says 4.5 pound bass. We've caught some decent sized ones. Actually, I think, uh, my nephew, Steven has caught the biggest one out of there, mm -hmm. which was right at a little over five pounds. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Last summer. So when did we stock that pond? Six years ago. Mm hmm. So there should be some big ones in there now. But that is our Thomas says is the oldest pond the one by the pigs. That is that was our that's the oldest one on this property. Yes, the oldest one is the one up north. Yeah, we didn't know when we bought this property, there was just an old, nasty, silted pond kind of kind of north of where that pond is, right? Mm -hmm. And we wanted to build at the back of the property, so because it was all just scrub brush back here, and there was a huge ravine. Are you okay? You're fine. There was a big ravine, so we put in a pond and made the dr the driveway. It was either put in a, a, what, drive over it. What is that? What's that called? A dam. No, a dam or... Oh, a culvert? Yes. And it was like $10,000 difference. And we were like, we want to... No, pond. it was like $2,000 difference. Oh. She's Bindi. running off oh, with his coat. She has your coat, Bubba. Go get it. <laughs> what, uh, Sam Camel's can't swim there you go okay now you know i did not know that that is i don't believe know. it i'm going to drag poppy out to the middle somebody told see. us they can't <laughs> swim though i don't know I don't i've know. never even yeah. thought about it really yeah they're from the desert there's really not a lot of water there right they don't have a lot of fun in the desert <laughs> love fly fishing for trout and salmon here in maine we do some bass fishing oh. when the waters get warm and harder to get trout and salmon Yes, that would be great. That would be fun. Darlene says, what is your next animal going to be? No. Not going to be. Well, if we do get one other than a baby, it would probably be another emu. Emu? Mm -hmm. How emu. do you say it? Emu. Emu, as far as I know. Yeah. Emu. 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 So that is most likely... 
I don't know. Who knows? I never thought we'd get pigs. I never thought we'd get emus. I never thought we'd get sheep. Hey, we did the sheep for our uh, live nativity. No, we didn't. No. <laughs> We've done live nativities for two years without sheep. Oh, gosh. Well, it made them better. Um, are you going to put some perch fingerlings in your pond? Oh, we have tons of them. Yeah. So we've stocked, uh, actually, we I put, what are they called? Shell crackers in, which eat the snails um, that can uh, overtake a pond. We put bluegill, hybrid bluegill, a little bit of everything yeah. in them. Yeah. Our main pond has some catfish in it, too. Uh, we've moved a few of them. Like, I think I've moved literally three to the back pond, probably a dozen to the pond in the woods, a couple over to the lower pond. But Sam will eat fish out of our pond, so it's almost everything is catch and release. I love crappie. I just don't yeah. like to eat catfish. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Um, goats. Linda says goats? Question mark. Um, probably no to goats. I just don't know what. We don't have any wooded areas really left. Are you for that? We would have to fence in well, everything right, for sure. Yeah, you're everything. Right, you're right. That's the problem. We have all barbed wire. So we're except up around here. Yeah. And we're already needing to take out barbed wire and replace um, with rolled wire. We've talked about goats. I mean, we may end up getting a couple of them, but not like. So originally we were going to have two donkeys. We have five. Originally we were going to have sheep, two sheep. We have five. Originally we hey, were going to have. Me. Two pigs. We have six pigs. <laughs> We're going to do one emu. Mew. 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 Emu. Today we have three with plans to get a four. So. Good job, Bubba. Uh, we were going to have three highlands. Today we have what? I don't even know. 13, 14? I don't know. Oh. Oh. So. You know, if over. we get goats, I'd like to say we'd only get a couple, and they would just go in with wherever our sheep are, but the other thing no, is, I don't want Bindi in here. No, out there with you. I think I've said this before, no offense to people who raise goats, but goats kind of creep me out. They're just <laughs> something not normal about them, so... Jason loves. I goats. know he does. And I, I did see hey, Crocker Life said that Jason and I were twinning today with our shirt. Oh, that's sweet. No, the goats that they brought over were adorable. There's just something about an adult goat, especially if it has horns, that just in their eyes. Their eyes are just piercing. Um, Judd is chasing Bendy with the pitchfork. And yes, we let our child yes. run around our farm with a pitchfork. Put, put it down. It's a, one of those, isn't it a potato fork? It is, yeah. <laughs> a pitchfork sounded better. Yeah. Right there's the pitchfork right next yeah. to it. Standing up. I want to keep it dead. You want to keep the potato fork? Keep Anything it else? Um, yes, hold on. Um, Todd says Jet needs to get pet guinea pigs fun pets he actually asked me a couple weeks ago for guinea pigs he saw them on youtube and they yeah. are adorable but i'm so afraid that our hi that our cats will kill them or more or less percy jj carly's male cat i'm worried about that jet wanted to take the fish in the house today that we caught too and keep them somewhere in the house so Mimu's watching all the shenanigans with a bendy I love Mimu so much. If I could just sit out here and watch him all day. He's so cool. <laughs> um, let's see. How about some swans? Yeah, we'll probably get ducks. 
eventually. Well, yeah, that's the whole thing. I want I want ducks. I want Muscovy ducks. But I'm afraid that Bindi is going to kill them. So oh, wait. I to forgot do. to mention we had two chickens and then we got a dozen more this year. I didn't add that up. Chickens. Carry on. They don't count. They're easy. Chickens Wait. don't count because they don't live long. We've had these for three years. These are our remaining two from what? We had 10. <laughs> Bindi's running races over there. Um, turn the camera so they can see that. Penny says, is ginger? You just can swivel the top. Yeah, there you we go. told me that. Gin Penny says, is Ginger becoming a cow yet? She has really done well. Um, they're Penny looking at the wall oh. of the shot of the little thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, come, on. Uh, come on. We have no clue what we're doing. I'm a professional YouTuber. Ginger really had been down there for several days, but we've noticed she has a little bit of diarrhea. Flint. We mentioned that in our last video, right? Mm -hmm. So you gave her some diarrhea medicine and we gave her some warmer. Yes. Um, she actually doesn't act real perky right now. Um, I don't know. She's still but got diarrhea. she also, while Jet and I were fishing this afternoon or this evening, she gorged herself on the new ryegrass coming up. Oh, yeah. So. Did hurt her tummy. She, her, this is normal, I think, when you take a bottle baby off their bottle. They're just, their system is trying to get. Adjusted. Used to, yeah. yeah, and she's been on creep feed, I mean, for weeks, and now she has access to the creep feeder all the time, which has really been helpful that she liked creep feed up here when we were feeding her creep feed, and then we put her with the cows, and she figured out the creep feeder, so now she's shown all the babies how to eat out of it, mm -hmm. and our little babies that are only like two weeks old are eating creep feed, so that's really great, because usually we don't get them on creep until we wean them from their mamas, so that has been a big plus. Yep. Um, Debbie says, oh, I think I already mentioned that, the swans. I think, oh, Ashley said swans might put Bindi in her place. Oh, no doubt. Remember the swans mm -hmm. that beat yeah. up the guy we live next to in Florida? Yeah. His little kids got too close to him, and he was like a His little bear. kid was kind of like the way Jet behaves. Arnie. His little boy. Yeah. yeah. And that dad had to get in between the swans and his two toddlers. And he was like a bodybuilder. And his thigh was purple. And Jack. No, sir. Put that. Put it down. Y'all, help us. Help us. <laughs> I don't think he's even going to get a year in He pre got beat up by a swan. Yes. Yeah, swans are no joke. Um. Jet is having a blast. Yes, Jet has a blast what with whatever he does. Unless says, it's educational. Uh, or eating. <laughs> Penny says, Flint, how can you say no to animals that your beautiful wife wants? She's great with animals. Thank you, Penny. Penny, have you seen our place? He Did you say hear no. my story? If you could smell our place. We started with two donkeys. <laughs> we have five. We started with one donkey, not we, knowing that we they only need to wanted be one horse. That she could ride. She doesn't even Joy, ride the two horses Joy, we have. Don't chew on my chair. So. I want to. I want to. That's a whole other conversation. Yeah, that we don't have time for that. We don't have time for riding horses because we're. Got we don't have time to on. talk about it. Hi, Joy. Hi. Sheep are so sweet. Joy was a bottle baby. Not our bottle baby. We got her from a man that, and they took her camping. And so she's like a dog. I don't think she believes she's a sheep either. I love sheep. They are so sweet. Um, Jet working on a good night's sleep. Yes, Butch. Every night. Every night. And he helps us work on a good night's sleep too. Um, Carly says, I'm going to clean up for the night and get something to eat. I love you guys. Love you, Carly. Um, yes, Todd. T Carly gave Todd a shout out in her video about the old the light. Todd, we took that to church on Sunday. We had to do a lesson on um, letting your light shine. And so we shut the lights off in our pre-K room. We do the pre-K service um, once a month on Wednesdays and Sunday mornings. So we shut the lights off and we had those little um, O oh. lights and the kids love them. It was so cool. Yeah, 
So, yeah, you guys, thank you for being here tonight. I know this is kind of weird and chaotic, but this is our life. Animals and jet. <laughs> He's wild. And He's he, feral. He doesn't He's not have wild. any siblings to play with. Carly and him are 15 years apart. So, and she's not here. She's and in he college. lived on a farm. Yeah. So his his best friend is Bindi, who I also I tried to give away. That's terrible. <laughs> so again, please, if you see the post, just disregard it. Um, she is staying. We just need to work with her. <laughs> right. Uh, Cats in the Cradle said, Bindi better watch out with Mimu because he could break out into some of his famous everybody was kung fu, kung fu fighting. Mm -hmm. Yes, Michael Jackson beat it dance. He does. I He is hilarious. Sometimes I just play those those TikToks for Jet because he his favorite show right now is America's Funniest Home Videos Animal Edition on Disney+. Plus. He will belly laugh watching animal shenanigans. And he creates plenty of his own yes. as well. Yes. All right. Well, should we get out of here early? Yeah, we probably should. It's getting dark. And what are we doing with Ginger? She's staying up here tonight or are we going to walk her down? What do y'all think? Should she have a sleepover with her sheep friends? No. Or should we take her back? I think she needs to go back to being a cow. She's not a sheep. She's not a person. Oh, She's no. a cow. Uh-oh. Isn't that something when they chew on a gate? Cribbing, but that's in a horse. I don't oh, know yeah. if cows can have cribbing problems. She's just chewing on the gate over here. Well, I think she's still just missing a bottle. She's just Maybe. kind of like she'll still suck on your finger. I was picking up trash along the highway yesterday and she was on the opposite side of the fence. And I stuck my hand through the patter and she immediately started licking my fingers and trying to suck on them. Obviously, she was trying to suck on joy's that ears thick fur yes okay did y'all see uh well i i guess not we didn't do a video picking up trash we found some very interesting things along the highway flint found a urinal i did in the ditch and i used it in front of our house good night <laughs>